Hey guys, it's Nibscape, and this is my alt account, Nibscape2. Usually you can find him up in the Slayer Tower, killing a couple gargles, or perhaps down killing a couple brutal black dragons with his T-bow. However, unfortunately, I haven't played this account in a while. In fact, 125 days, and during this time, my membership has run out. And unfortunately, due to the fact that I don't really play this account that much, I can't really justify paying for membership. And I'm a bit of a tight ass and I don't really want to spend the money off of my main. So, that kind of leaves me with one option. I'm back to free to play. And this is a place I haven't really been since. Since I was about 12 and I persuaded my mum to buy me membership. So welcome to my new series. A series in which each episode we're going to look at a different free to play money making method. In order to buy our first bond. We'll look at how efficient it is and how long it will take. Welcome to my new series, Escaping Free to Play. So here we are, back with episode 8, and today we are going to be killing ogresses. Uh, we're going to be killing shamans and warriors. You can do this with melee, however I am going to be using the range method. I'll show you like safe spots and stuff, it's very easy and should be a very good money maker. But first things first, as always, we're going to go into the requirements. So for the requirements, the only actual requirement you need is completion of the quest. Cursor's Curse, I think that's how you say it, but basically it's a very easy free-to-play quest. Extremely short, it doesn't take very long at all to do. However, there are a few recommended things. So for recommended stats, obviously a high range level is going to help you out massively i actually have 88 range on my ult that's because i've done a lot of brutal black dragon so obviously my profits and xp per hour will be a lot more but i reckon 50 plus is more than enough to do this efficiently um the only other thing that i highly recommend as well is completion of dragon slayer one uh, this is a slightly harder quest a uh, few more requirements you actually need 32 quest points which is quite hard to do in free to play but it's definitely doable and it's 100% worth it. And you're also going to need to kill a level 83 dragon, which in itself is quite hard. So you're going to need relatively decent combat stats. But you're going to want decent combat stats anyway going into killing Ogre of Shamans. The reason you want to do this, Dragon Slayer, is it actually gives you access to another cave. And this cave is a lot less populated and it's going to increase your profit massively because you ain't going to be fighting over ogre shamans and and warriors but uh, anyway we'll jump straight back into it now so first things first we're gonna have a little look and see what we are wearing so uh we've got our max range on for free to play obviously we've got green d high body green d high chaps and van braces we just got boots on just for the for the sake of it to be honest but the amulet of power i think that gives a slight accuracy bonus so uh so we got that and just a cape uh, for our weapon, obviously we're going to use a maple short bow, and for our ammo we've got a thousand mithril arrows, and obviously we'll track all that. Uh, rune wise, obviously we've got high alk, um, and also I've brought some uh, air runes just in case I need to teleport out of there or something. But apart from that, that is all we need. Very low supply cost, and we'll go over the location next. So for the location of where we're actually going to be doing this, it's on the relatively new area called Corsair Cove. There's actually two dungeons. The first dungeon is very overcrowded, and then the second dungeon, which you need the completion of Dragon Slayer, is, is a lot better dungeon, and I highly recommend doing that. Um, to get there, you actually start in Rimington, so there's a little charter ship here. All you need to do is speak to Cabin Boy Colin, and he will take you to Corsair Cove. Once you get here, as you can see on this little island, there is actually a little bank here, which is very handy for banking. Basically, to get your way to your dungeon, all you need to do is follow this path. And you pretty much just follow it west until you find the dungeon. So this is the first dungeon. However, I don't recommend this one because it is highly overcrowded. And it's going to be quite hard to get some kills in. All you have to do is keep on running west from here. And eventually, up here, as you can see, if you haven't already, you need to speak to this man here. If you've spoken to him, then you can go on through. And here is the dungeon where we're going to be killing it. When you get into here, you just want to go north, follow this little path north, and eventually you'll find yourself a nice little area where you can safe spot the Ogre of Shamans. So when you're in your little safe spot, basically you just going to want to hang tight. If you stay here for 10 minutes, they actually become non-aggressive to you, and this way you're going to be able to come out, get them, and then bring them back. 
and then uh, I'll show you in a minute we'll start the timer and I'll show you the safe spots so after your 10 minutes you are now on aggro to them so this makes it easier to go and pick them so uh, what we'll do first is we'll grab a ogus warrior and the safe spot these pretty simple you just gonna want to drag them into a corner well if I can I stuck on this side anyway but yeah, basically you're going to safe spot them. You just have to get one tile away because they hit with melee. Uh, with the shamans, it's slightly different, which we're going to show you after this kill. But uh, oh, I better start the timer as well. But uh, yes, timer has started. I'll show you an ogre shaman next. And then I'll probably tie in around about the 30 minute mark just to, uh, just to see how I'm feeling with the whole money maker and all that. So for the ogre shamans, I'm going to want to grab them because they can hit with a tile distance of four. As you can see, I'm going to want to stand four tiles away and oh, hang on, one more tile. And now they can't hit me. Simple as that, pretty much. If you do get low on health or you need some, uh, need some health, there is actually some bread around about here somewhere yeah some bread over there so if you really do need some health you could use that however you're probably going to be fine so uh yeah i'll tie in with you in the 30 minute mark so we're about halfway through now and it's been all right i mean as you can see we've made some decent money even the cash stack is uh is looking good we've got we're getting loads of alcohols and uh yeah i mean this is pretty good uh it's very chill we're getting pretty decent xp rates as well i'm hitting about 29k in range which ain't bad get about nine and a half k in hit points uh so yeah i mean pretty decent to be honest and i uh, can't really complain so uh i'll probably uh see you again at the full, full hour and we'll do our price check and all of that but yeah so far extremely chill and um i, I made a few things a few changes to make it easier i marked a couple of tiles for the uh for the shamans which i'll show you now obviously i'll just tag one run to my little tile and then i'm safe and um yeah i mean <laughs> so far it's been very good so uh yeah i'll see you at the one hour mark okay so we are coming to the end of the hour now we'll probably get one last kill in and then that'll probably be about it we got 40 odd seconds left or we might get two kills in depends how fast we can get this kill actually do you know what let's get our eagle eye on as well let's let's try and get two kills in and now i'm just not even hitting him great <laughs> Uh, we we'll probably get this shaman over here, I reckon. Three, two, one. Uh, stop the timer. And, oh, he's literally got no health left. I'm going to finish him off. There we go. And, uncut diamond. Nice. <laughs> Not too bad a drop there. So, uh, yeah, to be honest, one hour, and it wasn't too bad. It's been, uh, it's been pretty good, to be honest. So we'll collect our, um, we'll collect our mithril arrows and stuff as well for all of our costs and all that stuff. But yeah, honestly, that was extremely good. I've got my loot tracker as well. We ended up killing 88 total. We killed 51 Ogress Shamans and 37 Ogress Warriors. Now, what's quite interesting with this is I actually made a lot more money uh, from the Ogress Warriors. I'm not going to tell you how much because we'll do a proper price check at the end. Or oh, maybe I'll tell you in a minute. But um, we're going to get back to Varrock first. We'll use a couple of our runes. But yeah, I mean, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to show you the loot tracker and uh, obviously what I made. So uh, obviously we killed 51 uh, Ogre Shamans and we made a total of 76k from them. And then from the Ogre Warriors, we only killed 37, yet we made a lot more. We got a lot more Alcables. I don't know if I got a little bit lucky with the Alcables. I might have, and this might be why, but to be honest... Um, it doesn't really matter which ones you kill, but by the looks of things, yeah, wh whichever ones you kill, you're going to get some pretty decent money for. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to buy back all my supplies. So obviously I started with a uh, hundred fire runes. So what we're going to do is, oh, for fuck's sake. So what we'll do is we'll buy back what we started off with. So obviously we're going to want to buy ourselves, uh, 51 fire runes. We're just buy a max price so we actually used 375 so we will buy their max price should be all good there we go so to be honest <laughs> that actually didn't cost us cost us very little to be honest in actual supply costs so what we'll do now is we'll chuck this all into the ge 
obviously bar our starting costs and what we started with. We actually managed to get ourselves a shaman mask as well, which I think they're pretty rare to be honest. But it's actually worth, it's not actually worth that bad cash, to be honest. Hopefully it insta sells, which it does, it's for 7,400, so uh, not too bad at all. Okay, so obviously we've got our starting supplies, and then our total profit from killing ogres, well, shamans and warriors. We actually made 194k. Obviously I actually do have 88 range, so I'm going to be getting a lot faster kills than if you had a lot lower than that. So yeah, not too bad. 194k in one hour ain't bad at all. But we're going to jump into a little review now of the whole process. So for the review, as always, first things first, we're going to go over the profit per hour. And the profit per hour was 194,000, which is actually really good and we were getting some very very good xp rates along with that we were getting about 29k in range obviously i do have a lot higher range level than probably a lot of people doing this but overall weren't too bad uh the afk rating i'm gonna have to give this a 7 out of 10 because honestly it was uh it was very afk the only semi not afk thing is just getting the shamans in the right safe spots and things like that but to be honest, it feels very, very AFK. It's probably one of the nicest things I've actually done. Uh, next, we'll have a little look at the bond price. So the current bond price is 5,400,000. It's, it seems to be just going up and up and up, and it's absolutely insane. If you were to do this method solely to get a bond, it would take 28 hours, which honestly isn't that bad for free-to-play. And to be honest, it, me personally, if I was going for a bond in free-to-play, this is how I would do it, because I'd be getting some decent combat XP, which is going to help you when you are actually got membership. So, uh, yeah, I'd highly recommend doing this method. Obviously, Dragon Slayer 1 is quite a hard requirement. However, 100% worth it to get that quiet cave. And overall, a very, very good money maker. So, here we are, the end of episode 8. We'll do a little price check and see just how much money we've got. So we actually end the episode with 1.25 mil. So honestly, not that bad at all for a, for a free-to-play account. All done in free-to-play. That's quite a bit of money. Obviously, there's, there's quite a fair way to go for a bond. But overall, it's been pretty successful. I've really enjoyed today's episode. The Ogres Shamans and warriors are extremely easy to kill and I, I, I'd highly recommend doing this. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It helps the channel out massively. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Peace out.